Hello everyone watching YouTube and welcome to the fourth part of the Legend of Zelda the Minish Cap. Uh, this time we are going to be walking up a mountain. Uh, last time we... I think we got like near the top I think, but maybe not, I'm not too sure. Um, this is a semi-blind playthrough. Like I know the story, I know some aspects of the game, but I've never actually played it or completed it. So yeah, this is... I'm enjoying it so far. But I enjoy pretty much every Zelda game. Except for the first two. Mm -hmm. The first two, I don't like the first two very much. But apart from that, oh, I like Legend of Zelda. This is a, this is a part of my... Um, well, let's play, which uh, I'm doing two at the same time. I'm doing a 3D game and a 2D game. Um, I'm doing a video pretty much every single day, um, except for Sundays. I, I'm not. I don't upload on a Sunday. I've decided that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I do need a bit of a, like sort of a break from YouTube. That's more over the weekend, I'd say, because you know I've been, I've been really focusing on this recently, and I need a bit of a break. I've been like pretty much every day just working on my channel, researching the algorithm, things like that. But um, yeah, um, and my, uh, I was feeling a bit tired earlier as well, so. Uh, you know, this weekend. But I might be uh, be recording and uploading on some weekend. But um, I do pretty much do a video every day. Um, I'm doing a Skyward Sword one at the current moment as well, which is um, which is always like sort of like an episode ahead of this because I started that first. So uh, tomorrow uh, I'll be doing my Skyward Sword episode five, which will be a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Um, if you didn't notice, I did have to cut because um, I didn't really know how to do this puzzle. Um, all right. Basically, we just got to blow this up, and we get a heart piece, which is pretty cool. Uh, like I said um, in some previous episodes, uh, heart pieces are really useful. They just increase your, you know, the amount of parts you have. Alright, let's check here. We got a kinstone piece. Uh, kinstone pieces are... I don't know, they like reveal like heart pieces and stuff, I think? When you like trade them with people. Oh my... Mm. Alright. Let's use this empty bottle. Okay. Uh, I'm back. Um... I don't really know where to go, but if you head, um, like, pretty much, you see where we first came up to, um, Mount Crenel at the base, like, near the entrance and there's that cliff side, just move to the bottom right, but not completely off the cliffs, and you'll find this area. Now, this is extremely cryptic, because, like, they don't tell you that you have to blow up a wall. Alright. Let's try this out. Um... Go up this ladder. Alright, there we go. And then... Oh wait, I need to blow up a wall. Alright, I'll be back in a second. Alright, I've gotten some bombs. Uh, and we'll carry on going up the mountain. Alright, so as you can see there, there's like this greenish sort of looking water. Um, we've got to go up there. First we've got to shrink though. So we can actually get up there. There we go. I don't like how this cuts in place every single time you shrink. It's quite annoying actually. Alright. Alright, we just gotta run up this little path here. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, this was a little cryptic, like the wall we had to blow up, like, it doesn't even tell you, like, that, there's no hint. It's like, backtrack back there, it's 
quite annoying actually, but we've got some Chrono Hot Spring water. So let's carry on going. Oh. Alright, I'm back. Um back up to where the um the plant thing is. We're going to make it grow now. Here we go. Let's climb it up. <clears throat> oh Mount Crenel. So what we were at below was Mount the Mount Crenel base. Now we've basically the world pretty much opened up a bit more. Alright, that's a red choo choo. These guys are annoying. And it's quite weird seeing them being annoying. Um, okay, I don't want to fall down there because it's very obviously like a shortcut back down. Alright, let's go up here. <clears throat> okay, I'm assuming this is a bombable wall. Because, you know. This, this is obvious, right? That it's a bombable wall. And now I know that you have to bomb random walls. Okay. Oh, I hate these red choo choos. They're so annoying. In Phantom Hourglass, they were not this annoying. Or in Wind Waker. They weren't very... I don't really think that they were much in Wind Waker. They were definitely in it, but... I don't even really remember them being on um, Outset Island that night if you come back. But it has been like a couple of years since I played Wind Waker. Like... Uh... Main story. I still like read... I read the encycl yeah, encyclopedia. I wrote a story about the games mainly. I think the Zelda games I return to most are probably... Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time, Link Between Worlds, and Twilight Princess. Yeah. And Spirit Tracks. Definitely Spirit Tracks, to be honest. And Phantom Hourglass. Those games are highly underrated. And they are maybe because of, I've got like biases towards them because they are my first like games I've ever played, but they're still pretty good. Uh, this is Mount Crenel, which is fun. Um, there's a hole here. Uh, I don't know what to do with that, but it might be important later. We've also got these enemies that are in Ocarina of Time, and I think the original Zelda as well. But they're, they're massive in Ocarina of Time, those enemies. Alright. Now this is how they should show the bombable walls. I know there has to be some challenge. It can't, like, the uh, spoon feed you everything, but... It needs to be a reasonable level of difficulty. Like, we don't want Ocarina of Time or Legend of Zelda 1 levels of crypticness, but... Oh! What was I... What was that? <laughs> Have a... Wait, can I... Alright then, I can climb these places now then. Uh, what's this? Oh, alright, I know, I've seen gameplay of these tile things. I know what these are, but I won't be, we won't be needing this yet, but we will in the future. <clears throat> we don't need to climb down there. Alright, I don't know where to go. Um. Hmm. Alright, I might cut in a second, try and have a little bit of an explore around, and I'll cut back to here when I f if I find anything, before actually, like, progressing any further. Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so I did find something. Um. There's like a sort of like a whole section. Like I got down here and I was like, oh wait, I can go up here. So I had to walk all the way back up to where I was, where I cut. But, oh, this is cool. This, I've noticed that people keep going on. This It shows how underrated this game is. That people always go on about how revolutionary Breath of the Wild's climbing is and how it's like, I like people are like, oh this is like a first and he needs to bring this back for every Zelda game but 
They also had like also like Paraglider. Obviously Sky Sword had it, it wasn't very good, the sailcloth. But um this had um the hat glider thing. And now it has climbing as well. It's quite weird actually. Now it's sort of forgotten, like obviously I've never played this, I just know the story and certain gameplay aspects, so I've never heard of this. Hmm. Okay, that guy's going on about weird stuff. Can I blow this wall up? Probably not. It doesn't look like a bomb wall. Did I put that in a good spot? Right, I'll try it one more time. Alright. As we can't use that, that has to be like a place up here because I really don't want to have to cut again. Alright. Oh! Okay, I can jump across a uh, mountain. Yeah, that's, that's a new for Zelda. Oh. Wait, this music. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. Uh, this is uh, Link to the Past. I think this is the opening theme. Like going through like the castle and stuff. Why Why are they playing this here? Is it just because it's raining? It's like a small reference. He's going... Alright, I know what this guy's going on. It's going on, yep. I could already tell. He didn't need to tell me, but... Mm. Oh, if you just go up here... It won't hurt you. I don't know if I was just lucky then, but that would be that would be a nice detail. Now what do we do here? Oh jeez. Oh I need to get comfy. Alright. I don't know what to do here. Um no, I just push. Push. Why did I do that? Oh no. I don't even know where I'm supposed to put that boulder. Oh I've got it. I'm gonna, I won't be able to get that thing back, I'm gonna have to shrink again. Which means I'm gonna have to sit through that cutscene. I wish, like, okay, maybe once you, that cutscene plays, like the first time you do it in like a game. Like the first time, like, um, like you start the game up and it plays once. <laughs> Not every time, it's just so annoying. Okay, so that should have... Reset the position, there we go. Right. Oh, this is going to be really stupid, I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to try pushing this boulder to that boulder space, because I can't find any other, anything else to do. This will probably get cut from the thing if this doesn't actually work, which will be really weird. I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to freak out, oh no, this, I think this actually might work. This actually is going to work, isn't it? I'm actually looking at it now, and it and it can work. Oh no! I can't, what? It's like the only puzzle of this episode I've actually been able to do successfully. All right, let's go now. Oh, okay. He was there. I didn't know, but uh. Go rip his mask off, right? Just roll. I keep forgetting. Uh, I keep forgetting how like far you roll in this. Like the rolling, this is really good. Oh no! I hate lock puzzles like this. All right, I'm just gonna have a little test of everything. All right, I'll test the one down there. Can you blow these rocks up? I think I kind of get what to do. I think I just have to push that block where I place the bomb on. Alright, there we go. No, that doesn't work. No. D does this work? Let me think. Um, right, push that up. Oh no! Right. Let me be smart about this. You don't want to push something that you can't unpush later. I can't push that down. Can I, I can't. What have I done? How do I do this? No! Oh no. Oh no. 
I don't know what to do here. All right, I'll I'll be back when I figure this out. All right, so I figured it out and I feel really stupid. So all you need to do is just push this block down here and then go up here. And then you push that one to the side, push that one down. And then what you do is you push this one to the left here down and then this one to the left. And then you move down and that's it. That was the whole puzzle. And I struggled on that. How? <gasps> what? Okay. Look, I'm glad I didn't take any damage there. There we go. I need to really be more careful with the rolls. Like, I'm really not being careful. Alright, there we go. Oh! Well, that was fail, <laughs> wasn't it? There we go. No! Alright, I've got... Why is it... I, I keep clicking R. And that's the one to grab things with, it's just not working. Alright, come on, give me hearts, give me hearts, please, give me hearts. Here we go. Alright, let's run down here. Alright, what's this one? Oh no, oh no I'm actually gonna die here. I don't know if he'll send me all the way back to the bottom of Mount Crenel. That's what I did after yesterday's video when I saved. I turned it back on and it was at the um, bottom. Luckily I made a, um, a restore point on my Wii U. But I haven't made one. I don't make restore points in videos, mainly because um, I feel like that's a cheaty. But I do always after the video. So I can like resume from straight where I was. Okay. So those were pots, and that looks like a pressure plate thing, so I'm guessing I'll pick up those pots and chuck them over. There we go. Let's just push the, <laughs> the block puzzles. Why did I do that? <laughs> oh, I've got... This is really annoying me now, but okay. Let's go up here then. So I'm guessing you just got... I don't know how that would work. Because they always break when you throw them. Alright, so um... I found out. You gotta pick up a bomb. And you gotta throw it to the other side. Like this. And they're not pressure plates. They're switches. <laughs> That's supposed to be a switch thing. You see they're more rounded in Zelda games, but that's just weird. I know it's only on the Game Boy Advance, but I swear. On, um... I, I, I think, were there, like, Switch things in Link to the Past? Because I remember. I remember completing that game fairly alright. I didn't find any problems with the sprite art. In fact, I love the sprite art in this game, by the way. I'd say that is literally the only sprite I don't like. That, that, um, lever. I think this Zelda game. Oh, why did I just push it up? Yeah, I think this Zelda game has um, a brilliant art style. Like I really like it. And it's not made by Nintendo. It's actually made by Capcom. Which are the, I think it's made by Capcom. I might be wrong. What I'm saying here. I think it is. Uh, the same. Oh, why did I? This video is going to be very infuriating for people to watch. Um, I think it's made by Capcom, who also made the Oracle games and um, uh, Mega Man as well. They made Mega Man, I think, Capcom? I mean, I'm really tired of it. I think Capcom did make this game, which is why you, we don't really see things like... Um, uh, there's Four Swords games anymore, or Varty, I mean, because their own... By um, Capcom. I really wish they um, let Capcom make old games again, though. They're really interesting games that they, they used to make. And I think Vardy's quite an interesting villain. Obviously, I I prefer Ganondorf. Who, who doesn't prefer Ganondorf? To Vardy oh, Vardy is cool, though, but um, we all know the best Zelda villain, though. 
And oh, is that a village? Oh my god, is that a village? Um, are we nearly done? I think we're nearly done, guys. But um, yeah. Majora's Mask is definitely the best uh, Zelda villain. It's um, one of my favourite Zelda games. It's like on the top. It's tied with uh, Twilight Princess as my favourite. Majora's Mask is. Oh, Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess. I, I love playing through those games. They are so much fun. Expect, I don't know. If, it depends on my mood. And how I feel. Like, I might prefer Majora's Mask on day if I'm feeling gloomy and sad. But then I might, in, I enjoy um, Twilight Princess when I want to have a great epic adventure. But, you know what? I think this is where we're going to end today's video. Uh, if you have enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to continue my sub goal, which is uh, 10 subscribers by the end of the month. But, um, I've actually been... Uh, I'm very close to that already so soon it might even be I don't know I'm going after 10 subscribers I'm going to probably bump it up to 15 subscribers by the end of the month and I'll probably just be doing that until uh, over time but thanks for watching goodbye